Hello everyone, welcome back to the sawmill. Um, today I've got a 10 and a half inch uh, square cant of uh, tamarack and I'm gonna try to cut into some two by fours. So um, what I thought I'd do is cut the um, cut it into three, three and a half inch pieces and then turn those on edge. And then I should be able to get at least six and possibly a seventh. We'll see how much is left over because um, I'm losing a little bit by the curve. But um, so I might be able to get 21, but I'll at least get 18 good two by fours out of this and then a little bit of scrap left over. But before I get into that, I wanted to uh, bring up a few things that um, thanks to some, to some subscribers and suggestions from them. Um, before, when I was cutting, I was um, doing using the bump mode and going down the amount that I wanted to go down and then going making my cut, um, raising it, hitting the bump mode up and going back up and then coming back and then hitting it twice to go back down. And uh, the suggestion was made that I go, that I zero it um, after each cut. And that way, when next after making that cut, I go up, it just goes up the once and I just have to go down once again. Um, and you're, you're absolutely right, that is the better way to do it. And I've talked to Epic Saw and that's in line with what they, su what they suggested and the, the, w the way they intended it to be used. And um, so what they suggested was that you um, you zero it at the beginning of your cut. So uh, you set your bump mode. So um, when I'm cutting the one and a half inch two by fours, essentially I'll cut, I'll set the bump mode to one and a half inches. I'll zero it at the top of the cant. I'll hit the bump mode down. It'll go down one and a half inches, and then I'll zero it again. I'll make my cut. I'll um, I'll raise it up, and then bring it back. Now here's something else that the uh, Evic saw uh, let me know is that. Um, when you're in bump mode and you go up, yes, it goes back to zero, right? But if you're at zero or above zero and you push the up mode, it just goes up as long as you hold the button down. So, uh, that allows you, so what that allows you to do is you can zero it before your cut, make your cut. And then if you press the, you take your board off and then if you make your cut, it will only go up as long as you're holding it. So let's say you raise it a quarter inch so that you're not dragging your blade when you bring it back. And then you push down again, it'll take out that quarter inch that you just raised it up. And then, so it's back to zero and then it'll go down the amount that you bumped. And then you hit zero again and do it again. So that should, uh, that should uh, speed up the operations and make things a lot more easier. And that makes a lot of sense. And thanks to those guys who uh, left a comment uh, suggesting that method, you know, because you're absolutely right. That's a better way to, way to use it. The other thing I learned from... Um, Epic saw was that uh, you don't have to go into the settings to set your bump mode and your uh, big bump mode. So let me turn the turn the lift on, and I'll show you another way to do that. That's a little faster. So when you start the lift, it always defaults to the uh, to the lift mode. So if I go to bump mode. You can see right now it's set for one and a half inches, but I'm going to start by cutting some three and a half inch. So if I hold the bump mo the, the mode, the button down, it goes into the settings for the bump mode, and then I can raise that up. There we go, three and a half inches. And then when I exit out, just push the mode button again, that exits out. Now I'm set for three and a half inches. So that's a quick way to get it. Rather than go down to your settings and then search through the settings for the, the bump uh, mode, you can just do it right here at this uh, point. And also that works for the big bump mode. So if you go to big bump mode and then you hold the mo uh, mode button down, it'll go into the settings. You can change that and then exit that out, back out by hitting the mode button. I've also found you can exit out by hitting the zero button. So either one will exit you back out of there and your setting will change. So let's go ahead and start the mill and uh, we'll start cutting these uh, two by fours. <laughs>
have it guys I got uh, 21 boards total out of that uh, 10 and a half inch cant 18 were good 2 by 4s and the last three were a little bit thicker than a 2 by 4 but uh, that's okay I'll leave it that way because I have an application I can use those for so 18 good 2 by 4s and um, I uh, I used a new method for cutting and I think I did speed things up a little bit what I did notice was that uh, I noticed two things one is that uh, I tried to zero out the um, the lift at the beginning of my cut, so I wanted to hit the bump mode to go down the one and a half inches, then zero it out. I did that a couple times, but oftentimes I forgot to do that, and I zeroed it out at the end of the cut when I noticed it before I lifted it up. So either way is fine. Uh, I'd like to get in the habit of doing it before, so in case I do forget, I can catch it at the end. But uh, once I zeroed it out, whether it was at the front or the end, uh, then I was able to lift up the lift just a little bit to, so I didn't drag my saw blade back. But then what I found is that when I hit down, it went down to the zero and stayed there at the zero. And then I had to push it a second time to go down by one and a half. So that's, that's, that's the way it works. If you go above zero, oh, it's going to uh, go pushing down once. It's going to bring it back to zero. And then after uh, that, you push it again, and it brings you down for your next one and a half inch. So all in all, it's good. Um, that, that saved me some time. And I, I do very much enjoy being able to just push the buttons and uh, instead of cranking the handle and um, having to try to look and figure out if I'm at the right dimension that I want to be. This way, within a sixteenth of an inch, I know I'm at the right dimension every time. So I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying using my lift. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm going to keep, keep making them, but uh, if you've stuck with me this long, thank you. And if you could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.